Major League Baseball draft starts this Sunday with the first and second rounds. Matt Sound caught up with the local player hoping to hear his name called. Yeah, Dylan Head's been a star on the field at Homewood Flossmoor High School. He's also gotten to play on the national stage through programs like Perfect Game. He's hoping his ta talents can take him to the biggest stage, Major League Baseball, with a lot of hard work along the way. Dylan Head is getting in some work at the Southland Center in Linwood before what could be one of the biggest weekends of his life. Watching the guys, you know, before me, seeing like a couple years ago, Ed Howard get drafted, and then, you know, being able to be in the same, you know, situation he was in, um, yeah, it's a little, a little surreal. The Homewood Flossmore alum is hoping he is in the same situation as former Mount Carmel star Ed Howard, who was a first round pick of the Cubs in the 2020 MLB draft. Head has a great shot to also be a first round pick this Sunday. Yeah, it's gonna be, you know, cool, cool experience. Um, you know, something you dream as as a little kid. And then, you know, actually seeing myself develop and, you know, become, you know, one of those guys to, you know, have their name called on Sunday. It's gonna be a real blessing, so I'm gonna be, be real happy. It's in here where Dylan is putting in the work on an almost daily basis, and it's just part of what makes him so great. Man, crazy work, uh, you know, here, hitting every day, you know, here training with Griff, um, you know, doing a lot of speed, agility stuff, you know, just keep getting fast, there's always uh, room to improve. Griff is Jason Griffin, who knows a thing or two about training high-end athletes, having worked with Ed Howard, among many others. It's been a great experience uh, for me. Uh, it's been a long journey um, since he was young, 11, 12 years old. So, um, you know, he's been around some other guys, went through the process like a Ed Howard. And so he kind of had like a, a good a good blueprint. And for me, it was able to, how do we uh, apply that blueprint to help him to be where he is now? He just want to be great and to hold him accountable for that, it's, it's been great to, uh, to see that process. And, Hopefully we'll see how things work out this weekend. Head describes himself as a five-tool player, and the scouts agree, but it is his speed that really sets him apart. If he want to go run 100, he'll probably come to top three. If he go run a 40-yard dash, he probably run a 4-3. He, he's very fast, very uh, fast twitch guy, very explosive. Um, and I think it kind of uh, complements his game, especially on the bases in the outfield. And while Dylan is known for that speed, he's not going to rush the big decision he'll have ahead of him after he gets drafted. He'll have 30 days to decide whether to go pro or go to college at Clemson. You know, really, I'm just, you know, letting the chips fall where they may, um, you know, see how everything turns out. Because, um, I mean, I'm not, like, fully sold. I mean, I loved it at Clemson when I was down there, you know, back at seeing what they were doing when the ACC, so. Has MLB been a goal, of a dream for a while? Yeah, it's definitely been a dream, but, you know, I know I'm going to get to my dream, whether it be through college or you know, straight to Pro Bowl. Yeah, and Head said he worked out for a number of teams before the draft, including both the Cubs and White Sox. Well, he said it'd be cool to be drafted by one of them. He just wants whatever is the best situation for him to get better, whether it is college or going pro right away. He has good options. Yes, yeah, for, sure. for sure. Either way, he's probably good. Yeah. Thanks, Matt.